This is the 11th hour. With news and commentary for King James Bible believers, here's Greg Miller. America is not a democracy. America is a constitutional republic. And there is a difference. And there's a reason why liberal Democrats and rhino Republicans, also called moderates and neocons, all prefer to use the word democracy in place of the word republic. Why? Because democracy is mob rule. Democracy historically and logically results in communism. John Adams put it this way, quote, Remember, democracy never lasts long. It soon wastes, exhausts, and murders itself. End quote. In a democracy, a simple majority rules. 49.999% of the population can be violated and maltreated by a referendum and a single vote majority. Thomas Jefferson described it this way, quote, A democracy is nothing more than mob rule, where 51% of the people may take away the rights of the other 49%, end quote. That means that in a nation like America, where 75% of our voters are unsaved reprobates with little to no conscience, it would take very little time for Bible-believing Christians to be outlawed. Don't believe me? You just wait and see. If the Lord tarries, our deteriorating republic will continue to be ruled by the mob, and Christians will literally be thrown to the lions. Ben Franklin warned against democracy, and warned against giving up your guns and other forms of self-defense. Listen to this quote from Benjamin Franklin. Quote, Democracy is two wolves and a lamb voting on what to have for lunch. Liberty is a well-armed lamb contesting the vote. End quote. As America loses its knowledge of our Constitution and our Republican form of government, and if you don't think God ordained that, go to Romans 13, 1-4. God did not ordain your president. He ordained the form of government we have. God did not ordain the Supreme Court to rape us of our rights. God ordained our constitutional republic. And anybody who doesn't stand up for that constitutional republic is in violation of God's word. And as America loses its knowledge of this Constitution and Republic that God gave us, you will continue to hear louder calls for an end to the Electoral College, an increase in referendum votes, and eventually the call to a Constitutional Convention, where once called, you will have a complete overhaul and destruction of the United States of America as we know it. It's coming, and it's coming fast, due to the dumbing down of our nation through its atheist public schools, its atheist mass propaganda media, and its atheist entertainment cult based out of Hollywood. The death of America and our constitutional republic is already taking place, and the path of democracy will take this nation into a bloody civil insurrection that will make the war for states' rights, which is falsely called a civil war, in the 1860s look like a Sunday school picnic. As James Madison said, democracies, quote, have in general been as short in their lives as they have been violent in their death, end quote. And the Bible-believing Christian can count on being the target of this godless nation when democracy finally crumbles as our nation has a payday coming for the blood of more than 50 million innocent little babies cut to pieces and trashed 
in the name of abortion and choice. And as the American nation and its governing idiots continue to turn against Israel, embrace Sodom and Gomorrah, embrace the atheistic dogma of Darwinian evolution, you can count on the shrinking minority of Christians in America getting a taste of persecution and martyrdom not yet seen on this continent. Again, John Adams warns, quote, that the desires of the majority of the people are often for injustice and inhumanity against the minority is demonstrated by every page of the history of the world. End quote. You are the minority, Christian. They will come after you. I quote, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. That goes for every Christian that's lived in the past 2,000 years. It's going on now in China. It's going on now in the Sudan. It's going on now in Egypt. It's going on now in uh, Saudi Arabia and Turkey and the so-called Gaza Strip and every place where it Muslims reign. It's going on now in India. It's going on now in Pakistan. It's going on all around the world and it's coming to America because I continue. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 12 I just quoted. Verse 13 then continues and says, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So what do we do? We'd better see revival. Not among the nutcase charismatics or among the cults. We had better see a revival among King James Bible-believing Christians, including the pastors and the local churches. Only a spirit-filled Bible believer is prepared for what's to come. Only a spirit-filled Bible believer is prepared for battle. Only a spirit-filled Bible believer is prepared to suffer. Only a spirit-filled Bible believer will be able to face what's about to come the longer the Lord tarries His gathering together of the saints in the rapture. Are you ready? You'd better get ready. Second Timothy 2.12 If we suffer, we shall also reign with Him.